Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. Uh, this week I was busy working on preparing um, my own data set uh, for Donut fine tuning. Uh, this task is not finished yet, uh, it's in progress, but uh, still I would like to share the steps that I, uh, I did uh, in order to prepare the data set and uh, uh, also I will share the code uh, on GitHub repo. Uh, the URL is below the video. So hopefully it will be useful in case you want to build your also your own data set uh, to do fine tuning for Donut. So let's uh, jump to my screen and uh, yeah, let's see. So this this is actually uh, is the repo, uh, uh, source code where you'll find uh, current uh, implementation uh, for the logic that I'm describing in this video. Yeah, so the idea is that I uh, I, I took uh, uh, data set that I found on the internet, which is uh, for public use uh, with public use license, and uh, this data set contains uh, of a set of invoice documents, and I'm trying to <clears throat> convert those invoice documents to uh, key value pair uh, format, which is uh, can be consumed by Donald fine tuning. Right, so first, first of all, the, the link is there. Uh, you'll find on the GitHub repo here under dataset info section. So this is the uh, uh, dataset samples of electronic invoices, right? And I downloaded it and I included it into uh, over here under invoices. Uh, so there are three different uh, options available: uh, uh, space, character space, spaced IBAN, colored, and refiled information. Yeah, I'm using the one with valid inform information for, for now. So uh, it's around 1,000, uh, not around, but exactly 1,000 invoices. Uh, so I think it should be enough to do, uh, to build training data set, test and validation data set to, to do fine tuning for Donut. And if we open, for example, uh, let's open converted image. So over here. Uh, all the documents are in PDF. I'm, I'm converting them to uh, to the image uh, so that it's easier to process with OCR engine. Okay, so this is the example of the invoice. Uh, yeah, it's like that. It uh, you get uh, information about the seller, about the client, then you get tax ID, IBAN, and then you have a table with items uh, from one to to multiple. So depending on the invoice, and then you have uh, what information, total, and so on. So this I believe this um, kind of invoice represents a very common requirement in an enterprise where you have uh, those uh, invoices and it might be that the documents are quite good quality uh, uh, so it's not just like some pictures of some receipts but uh, some proper documents and you want to do automation extract uh, extract uh, data from those kind of documents yeah and it's all under Sparrow data yeah, and another data set that I downloaded also included into this GitHub repo, but I'm not using it right now. It's receipts. It's from Kaggle. It's also, this data set is uh, free to use, uh, can be freely used, uh, either in, in open source in or in commercial software based on the license of public domain. And <clears throat> this, this data set is also interesting because it contains... Uh, different type of uh, documents like uh, receipts from the restaurants then some uh, receipts for the public transportation uh, which is a different format than uh, payments for the hotel and also it comes in different languages not only english but also other languages so that's quite useful as well okay so that's about the code structure and now let's look into the uh, actual implementation that i have up to, uh, up, up to now so, uh, yeah, as I mentioned, you'll find uh, in the GitHub Sparrow data, and there's another model called Sparrow UI. So Sparrow UI implements uh, front-end with Streamlit. Uh, it implements uh, front-end interface to interact with the uh, Sparrow, and in the future, I'll put more functionality there. And then Sparrow data is a separate model which relates to data processing. And uh, in a readme, you'll see uh, all the instructions, uh, how to install requirements, dependencies. Also, you'll need to install um, OCR engine 
uh, and you know, also it, you need to install PyTorch because uh, OCR engine is using PyTorch's dependency and so on. So all the list is there in the readme. So there are two entry scripts, run OCR and run converter. So the, the idea is that in the first step, uh, because we are working with those PDF invoices, right? So in the first step, um, we're converting PDFs to images just for simpler processing. And then in the second step, um, extracting with um, uh, OCR, uh, we're extracting actual data from the images and uh, storing this data in JSON files. And the second entry point is run converter. So a uh, task of, for the converter is to translate um, uh, JSON data that was <coughs> uh, produced by OCR engine into the format which is uh, suitable for Sparrow annotation tool uh, so that later in the later stages um, uh, during human review we'll be able to load uh, this uh, extracted data uh, into annotation tool and uh, human will do review and will do mapping key value pair mapping uh, will identify uh, total field will identify address will identify item description which will be probably multiple lines and assign to all those multiple lines the same key and then as soon as this key value pair mapping will be done then uh, we'll have data which will be suitable to run for donut fine tuning so if you look into the OCR first step is PDF converter so to convert from PDF to image we're using PDF to image library uh, and yeah we've uh, this kind of just one line execution gets uh, image, uh, so it's very easy in Python to convert uh, from PDF to image, nothing special. And then in the second step, we run OCR extraction, and we're using um, OCR library called uh, DocTR for that. And uh, I had a video in the past where I was comparing different OCR engines, and I think DocTR returns one of the best results uh, in open source domain. So I'm using that uh, for Sparrow as well. So here we feed a list of images and then one by one converting, extracting data from those images and storing uh, data uh, over here in OCR directory as JSON, so in this kind of format. Yeah, and yeah, the second entry point, as I mentioned, is uh, converter. So it takes, it should take uh, all the JSON files from OCR and produce the output. And this output should be suitable, uh, should be understandable for Sparrow, so it's uh, because we're using slightly different format of um, different structure of the data, not not uh, the same like uh, we get output from the uh, DocTR OCR engine. And then as as we'll as uh, we'll complete this uh, data conversion step, we'll be able to load um, uh, data visually, uh, for, uh, like we'll display all those boxes on top of the uh, invoice document, right? And uh, there'll be option to assign uh, key value pair relationship. And yeah, because uh, Donut doesn't uh, need uh, uh, boxes, coordinates, uh, because uh, Donut is the, is the model which uh, does uh, OCR stuff internally. So you don't need, during training, you don't need to provide um, uh, coordinates and boxes. You only need to provide key value pairs. So, uh, this is will be this will be a task of annotation tool uh what hopefully i'll describe in the next videos and uh, yeah uh, for annotation tool we'll define key value pairs and yeah for data converter it's yeah it's also quite simple in python we load um, a json file and convert it to another json structure right so yeah, this is the idea of, uh, and uh, it was just a quick video to describe where, uh, where, uh, in which kind of a step I'm right now with this uh, data preparation. So, uh, yeah, I'm very happy that I managed to find a very nice uh, open data set, which is not uh, used in any other uh, examples uh, related to uh, uh, either layout LAM or donut fine tuning. And uh, because this will be like exercise working on actual uh, data and uh, see how it works to prepare a data set and how it would work to prepare to do fine tuning of donut model on my own actual uh, data set, which uh, probably later I'll use uh, for our customers. 
So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.